Good morning. This is Billy G. Billy stands for William. G stands for gangster. The G, uh, I earned that on the streets. Um, streets of Montgomery, Alabama, where everybody knows me and they just whisper my name. Um, I'm in a deep squat position right now. Been doing, uh -huh. been doing some CrossFit lately. Just trying to get my my mobility straight. So I'm in the deep squat position. Uh, and I've got that vitamin D bad boy poking at me. Look at that. So I'm on a roof. I'm investigating a roof leak that that has tricked tricked a lot of people until Billy G <coughs> got here. Um, and I thought it thought it'd be a cool one to make a video. I haven't done a video in a while. Let's get that sun out of the way. There we go. It's heating up that back. You know, us roofers sometimes we we battle we battle things in our head. Um, anxiety, depression, feeling unknown, unwanted, brokenness. And that's where I find myself a lot of times. But then when I get on a roof I feel like I'm accepted. I feel like I'm I'm loved, that I'm worthy. And that's not the point of this video. There's been a chronic, a persistent, I overuse the word chronic a lot, and I don't know why. I think I'm terrified of chronic illness. And so it's like this, this pseudo Freudian slip. I don't know what that means, but I feel like I use the word chronic a lot because of that, I'm afraid of, of a chronic debilitating illness. And I guess we all have, it's, just, it's life, right? I mean, we, we just break down as we get older. Um, turned 36 the other day and feeling good about that, feeling good about 36. We'll see what happens this year. Anyway, so we've got this persistent roof leak that other people have tried to to figure out. And I'm gonna be honest on this one. I've actually been on this roof before looking for this same roof leak. And there's been some other roofers to repair this roof. And they did a semi repair over a pipe collar that I just, for some reason, let me show it. Let me show, it. show you what's going on. Um, right there, there's a, a pipe collar. And then right here, we have a, a sidewall transition. This is a, a front wall and then a sidewall. So this is a, a roof to wall transition. And this is where I suspected the roof leak right in this area. And it might be coming in right here. But I've been up here a few times and we, we've done some other repairs. We reflashed that chimney over there. Um, this is a small roof leak. I'm gonna climb up on this bad boy. This is about a nine on 12. I'm trying out some new shoes today. Check these out. Look at that. Zero drops. Zero drop with a, with a wide toe box. So I don't have my cougar paws on. Anyway, uh, somebody else has been out and they put this little this little collar that you can get at Home Depot and it's not sealed up but for some reason I just didn't think the roof leak was coming in around this collar um, it just it just didn't correspond to to where the water was coming in but the inside of the attic space has has spray foam on the underside of the roof deck and I think that that was misdirecting are sending the water in a way that was that was tricking people, including me. Um, so anyway, today I come up and I remove this right here. Just take it up a little bit, and then oh, there we go. Let me. Yeah, that's what CrossFit does to you right there. Look at that. Look at that mobility. See all that? Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, I've almost got it. Yeah, I think I found, I found what's going on. All right, I'm, nobody's down there. The owner's just left. Okay, so check this out. Right there, can you see it? Can you see all that? Right in here? That is teeth marks right there. That is teeth marks. Those are teeth marks. Those are tooth marks. Um, let me get down here. I don't know the proper way to say that. Those are those are teeth marks. Those are teeth marks, plural. Those are teeth marks. Something's been chewing around that pipe collar right there. And it's either it's either some type of rodent, like a it's probably a rat, a squirrel, a possum, opossum, a raccoon. Maybe it's your future stepdad trying to get in the house. Anyway, that is the culprit right there. And I just never thought to lift that little rubber seal that we never install. We don't like those. Just change out the whole pipe collar. Don't just throw that bad boy up. Um, and I'm 90% sure that that's what's causing it. We'll take one more look. One more look. Now, water's not going to get in every time it rains, but when you have a wind-driven category three hurricane just like ripping through your house water's gonna find its way into the teeth marks so just thought that was i thought that was worthy of a video um i think we're all worthy this is billy g with guyette roofing montgomery alabama right at seven minutes